Hey guys, I am at a friend's house, but I've been hanging out and I have been reading The Couple Next Door. I'm a little over halfway through this and I thought originally I was going to DNF it, but I was like, hey, let's persevere and see what happens. And I am actually really enjoying this book. I think it's very different for the style that it is for. I really, really like it. I'm doing this because there's a cat here. <laughs> no, kitty cat, stay off that guy. <laughs> but I am enjoying it. Um, I can't wait to see how it goes. So check in with you guys. Say hi, my name is Rayla. Rayla. <laughs> Love you, Rayla. She's so pretty. Hey guys, so I got off work pretty early home, but um, before I came home, I stopped at the library and they had a discovery of witches. So I'm going to shelve some of the books that I had said futuristically on my uh, bookie check-in that I uh, was going to read and that maybe has popped into place and then also in my purse because I changed the books up again. Um, I am reading The Vampire Academy by uh, Rochelle Mead. Um, I got swooped into watching the movie and I have become obsessed with finding out everything about this series. So if you have actually read the Vampire Academy series or um, have seen the movie or whatever, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and I will have another check-in. So here is the other check-in that I have for you. Um, I want to go see Fantastic Beasts and where to find them too. And I want to say that that video gives like so much love to my heart because uh, I just loved how all the characters interacted and how shy Newt was about being with Tina and speaking with her and stuff. And I can't wait to dive into more of that when the next movie comes out. And as far as Dumbledore goes, I'm like... Bro, whatever he said in the movie, we were more than brothers. I was like, yeah, because he manipulated you. He knew that while you guys were like in friend mode, that you were a kick-ass wizard that could definitely be his rival. So he manipulated you, made a blood pact so that he could prevent you from actually harming him in the future, which didn't ultimately um, work out because obviously for those of you that have read the Harry Potter series, we both know what happens to Grindelwald in the end. But while I was out today, I did pick up the cutest card for my friend. Um, it is blank inside, but look how pretty it is. And it's got glitter, if you can see, Ooh, just a little bit right here. It is so pretty. Like, I wanted to get her a cute card, send her something. She's just moved to her uh, college where she's getting her uh, master's degree in uh, English. So, it's so pretty. And she really does love, like, tea pots and tea sets and stuff like that. And then, if you've ever been to the... Uh, Dollar Tree, I don't know if they have those where you live, but if they do, mine has a book section and I always, always go through it because I have found some really like brand new books and stuff in that section. And I know these aren't exactly new, but they are books that have been on my dream TBR. So the first one I have is Wink Poppy Midnight and I love this. It is so beautiful for a cover and I can't wait to dive into it. Apparently um, something very sinister happens with two girls and a guy and I am wondering what goes on so I'm excited. And then I also have right here the Darkest Days Club. I've been dying to read this but everywhere I go it's like the real book is like $19 and I'm like girl I don't want to spend $19 on a book. Not right now because I have other books that are, have priority in my brain that I really want to read. And I'm like, err. But I went to the Dollar Tree, found this book. So I'm like, yay. And this one is said is 1812 um, where uh, one of the ladies in court, her father dies. And she is investigating to see what's going on. And I am so excited to dive in this book. And it's so pretty too. I love the covers of both of these books. Are there any books lately that you've picked up? Let me know down below and let me know if your Dollar Tree has a book section too. I know that not all stores are the same 
um, throughout the US or if you have like a store overseas that is comparable to a Dollar Tree or something that nature but I think it's pretty cool that I can find these types of books there and I'm now gonna finally go get me something to eat and I will see you guys in my next vlog